I'm sure there were some things that you know drove you nuts for a few minutes, and probably the the real ragged start as part of it. But like you just said, it never gets old. This team, this team responds, and I, I think they, you know, they, I mean, they can say all the right things, but but you know, they kind of put that a little bit of pressure on themselves to perform and to be really good. And I think today was was a great example that they. You can tell in the second quarter it wasn't like okay we need, but it was like all right let's roll let's let's just let's you know let's turn the engine off start it up again and go. Did you feel like they were just waiting to uncork? Well, I think I think winning is hard and and being unbelievably sharp is really hard and and I think players young players in particular probably think they've gotten themselves ready and they do their routine and and they can just not be it might be 95% that they're giving or sharpness or or you know a little bit casual on something and 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 you you need players on your team that just don't do that i mean that's when you really get it that's when if you could get a if you could get a kid that's motor is just like I'm going to kill you if you don't come ready to play and, and lead that way. And we probably still have too many nice kids and good competitors and have figured it out and know how to raise their, their game. Um, and, and that's all we did, just challenged them with that. Because I do think, um, you know, we didn't have a shooting practice this morning. And oh, that's okay. my decision. And that's probably a bad decision on a 2 o'clock game. And we don't do anything hard on shoot around, but we make them get up. And I, I noticed at pregame they were like it looked like they had just woken up. And, you know, you just put that in the back of your mind and then you can throw it at them and use it against them. What time is pregame? Ten. And, and I, so I was able to use it against them after the first quarter. Like, you know, we're not doing that again. I learned my lesson and, and, and <laughs> now it's, you know, and, it, you know, and then that gets on their pride a little bit and they're like, well, I thought I was prepared. And you just see what happens. They turned it up a bit. Things, think good things happened to us on the offensive end that, that picked up our defensive intensity or maybe vice versa. And we just kind of steamrolled there because we, we moved the ball well and we've got good players that can make open shots. And um, just a, a tremendous answer in the second quarter for our team. Uh, was it a choice to uh, give Courtney Smith a little bit of a breather, just not push her? I did. I, I, they told me I could play her. Um, I really wanted to. I'm, I generally overplay people in the first half, and if I had started her, I didn't. I didn't want to do that. So I think she could. If again, if if they said whatever you need, but I thought it was good to get her back and get her legs churning up and down. She'd missed a couple of days of practice, and um, you know, clearly, just want to keep her sharp. And 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 so we just sparingly used her. Um, and love obviously love the results. I thought you know she just she brings a different dimension and makes yeah, us yeah. very very hard to guard exactly. and probably could have helped us against some of their pressing and and stuff that they did on the defensive end a little bit more just with her experience. But you know I think it's a good move moving forward to just get her healthy. Kim, let's talk a little bit. We did the other night about uh, North Dakota coming in here and they're going to come in with somebody that's going to test your. Your, well, both ends because they do have big players, and I'm sure they're as confident as you are at this point, and probably looking like, okay, we need to, somebody needs to bring this UNC team down to, down a notch. They're not the only ones that want us to beat, probably, right? The whole right. league is, yeah. Yeah, but but then again, <coughs> but this is their chance, and it's it's at a prime time. It's they're the one that's right behind you. You know, it's it's. I, do they do they play Thursday or not? They have the whole week. Right, they're just like us. They have okay, so there you go. So you're not getting a rest advantage on the fact they're traveling probably on Friday. Um, but is it this is is this probably the biggest test your kids will face? I mean, I go back early against CU, CSU, and maybe St. Mary's. I don't know how good they actually were, but is this the biggest test? Well, it's it's the biggest test because it's the next test, you know. Yeah. In, in that sense, um, I don't think we were ready for Colorado. You know, first game of the season, we weren't we weren't as seasoned. You know, their bodies, mm -hmm. what they could throw at us. Um, we played Colorado State well and had a bad 
maybe third or fourth quarter, I don't remember. Um, but again, you can't do that against really good teams. And and I again, I just think we've we've grown as a basketball team, um, and we have enough things in, and our players are comfortable with how we want to play on the offensive end. That we've just become a very different team than we were in the first semester, the beginning of the season. Um, and you know, when you get into Big Sky play, you're just going to face all different kinds of personnel and styles. And I think we've adjusted really well to everything that we've seen. Now, we've had more home games, and we're going to finish up on the road, which is always a big challenge. Um, but I think uh, North Dakota has a different style than anyone else in our league. I think they're bigger than anyone else in our league. So they pose some unique things that we haven't seen in a long time. They're probably big like Colorado is or some of the other schools. Maybe St. Mary's was really big. So. I think it's a it's a huge challenge for us just to see if we can match up and you know whose style can win out who who's going to be more effective you know in how the game plays out and again I, I I like this team so much because of how we're built to be um, versatile and mm -hmm. that we don't have to win it certain ways we don't shoot free throws today and we win the game mm -hmm. we're over two and I um, we had 30 free throws in a game where we attack it a lot and get to the foul line. Uh, we shoot the three today, but we've, we've, had, we've won games where we didn't shoot the three well. So we're going to have to obviously figure out a way to guard them a little bit, and um, they'll throw some things at us. They'll throw a big 1-3-1 one, one and, and some zone and, and just big bodies. And, um, but at this point, it's just you can't focus too much on, on the other team. You know, do your job to right. scout and tendencies and things like that. But so much of, of, of team, you, you either know how to guard people or you don't by now. And you better, you better just be able to adjust to how they throw things at you and can you play off of that. And that's the beauty of this team is we have a lot of plays, but they know how to play when things get broken. And we, we, we adjust well when people – do things to us and, and we can still uh, be a pretty good offensive team and and that's where I think our growth has come um, over the course of the season and I still think we can get better at that as well.